Hi there, it's Claire Paris with Paris Group Realty LLC in Portland, Oregon. And today we're talking about the benefits of home ownership. We're gonna address six of them. So grab your cup of tea and let's chat. The benefits of home ownership are community, um, building wealth, stability, appreciation, leverage, and equity. And that's quite a list, right? So I'm gonna go through each one and explain what I mean. So what is community? Is it a bar where everyone knows your name? Is it a bunch of people hanging out in a basement trying to avoid high school? Is it a group of people that met them each other in a coffee shop and live with each other for the next 12 years? Or is it a bunch of science nerds who hang out and just chillax and talk about physics? My ideal sense of community would be a bunch of people dressing up in tight tights and fighting crime for like 35 movies. But yours might be something more typical, let's just say, like having a house on the street where a bunch of people know you and say hi to you as you come home from work or becoming friends with that nine-year-old even though you don't have any children. Real estate agents would tell you that community means that you're going to be a better citizen. It's been really interesting. Um, they've done lots of surveys and lots of research on homeowners versus renters. And I've often thought that it might have something to do with age, but typically homeowners are more active in their community. They keep up their properties. Um, more, they uh, vote more. There's all kinds of benefits. And of course, one would argue, is it a chicken and an egg? But you're getting the benefit of it every day with the people surrounding you that are owning property. Stability. So obviously, if you rent a property, you're gonna walk in and you might wanna paint that wall. And you know what? The landlord says no, and you can't. Um, you get to do whatever the heck you want to your property. You can um, build out the basement. You could convert the garage. You can paint it any color you want. You can do whatever the heck you want because it's your home. Um, except, of course, tear it down. If you have a loan on it, you can tear it down. <laughs> um, it also lends stability because you have a home. You're grounded. You know what your monthly payment's going to be. It's not going to really increase unless the of course, unless your taxes go up, which they typically do, but that's an incremental amount compared to the loan that you got on the property. So it's fantastic for your stability. Um, appreciation. So if you look at the market for the last hundred years, of course, the National Association of Realtors has done a bunch of research. In the last hundred years, real estate has appreciated by about 5% a year. Obviously, if you look at the graph, it doesn't look like this. It looks more like this, but the end result is this. So what does that mean to you? It means if I invest my money in a home right now, in 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, I will have more wealth then than I would have if I would have just invested that money in the stock market or in anything else. <clears throat> and then of course, tax benefits. What are they? <laughs> so the US government thinks that home ownership is so important at building community and helping the middle class build wealth that they have incentivized us to buy homes and keep them for long periods of time. And because of that, you can write off your interest on your loan, your property taxes sometimes, your mortgage insurance, and several other things. In the first 10 years of your um, of your payments, that's gonna be almost the entire payment. The government giving you a tax break is like them giving you literally free money as opposed to rent where you're just paying someone else's mortgage, which is not ideal. So it makes a huge difference for you if you are a W-2 employee. So if you have a job and someone's paying you, then you get significant tax benefits from owning property. And then the other big thing is, say you own your home for 10 years and all of a sudden you have a bunch of appreciation in it. So I bought my house for, let's say $100,000 and in 15 years it's now worth $300,000. 
If I hadn't have put any money into that, which of course we know that you have to because in 15 years, it's probably gonna need a new roof and all kinds of fun things like that. But if we do the simple calculation from 100,000 to 300,000, you will have had $200,000 of gain. That's what the IRS um, considers gain. <clears throat> that gain would typically be taxable in most anything else, in stocks and bonds. Um, in real estate, if it's your principal residence, you get that money tax-free. For an individual, it's up to $250,000 tax-free. So that's also huge if you wanna, I don't know, retire in Mexico. You totally could. <laughs> um, leverage. So unlike any other investment in the world, if I take $10,000 of my money and invest it in real estate, I will acquire not just $10,000 of investment, I'll acquire um, a property that is significant, worth significantly more. So let's say I invest $10,000 in my down payment and closing costs, and I buy a $300,000 home. And that I get to appreciate, that $300,000 appreciates it, like we talked about, 5% a year, year over year. So for $10,000, I got a $300,000 investment. Whereas you typically think about, say, the stock market. If you put $10,000 in the stock market, you only get $10,000 worth of stocks. So you get appreciation on only that $10,000. This is what people call, um, economists typically call leverage. And it's humongous for the middle class because you obviously don't have a lot of money to invest in anything. And so investing it and leveraging it, you will, are al allowed to appreciate that money in a way that you otherwise would not be able to. Um, and then of course, you've got leverage, then you've got equity. So even if my um, investment doesn't appreciate at all, which as we discussed is probably unlikely, um, I still am paying down that loan every month. I'm paying a little bit of the principal down. And over 15 years, that actually adds up. And so I'm building equity in my home. And that is another way that you build wealth. It's like a big savings account that you can eventually draw off of if you need it for something else. So it's really just either a reduction in your amount that you've owed the lender or the cause of appreciation in the housing market. It could be both of those things. And there you have some of the benefits of home ownership. Thanks so much for tuning in to this episode of Dear Claire. Thank you for tuning in to this Dear Claire episode. If you found this helpful, or if you have any additional questions, comment below and hit the thumbs up. And we'll see you next time.